Hello Internet, welcome back. This is Berlin Game PJ here to make a follow-up video to kind of take care of all the comments that I see a lot on my how to use Reddit video. A lot of them are about commenting and how to upload a rage comic. It's pretty pretty uh, basic stuff here. I'll quick through go through a run through with it with you. If you come to Reddit and it just looks like this, if you can't comment on something, it's because you don't have an account made. What you need to do is just make an account. So what I will do is I'll sign in. I already made an account. You can click register to make an account. You're really not going to get the full effects of Reddit unless you make an account. And if I come back here and I refresh, now that I'm logged in, there's the comment box. That's how you make a comment. And the next thing was a lot of people were saying Reddit Enhancement Suite. Uh, yes, I did not have Reddit Enhancement Suite on my computer at the time of the recording. I didn't know about it. I found out about it a few months later. And I have it now. I've been using it for quite a while. It's highly recommended for anyone to add it. You would simply Google Reddit Enhancement Suite. And download it. <clears throat> oh, we couldn't detect my browser so we're going to select Chrome install add now it's been added if I refresh my page it's going to have a lot of add-ons um, that are added to Reddit I prefer to view mine in night mode we'll get to that in a minute but now under pictures you can expand them you can click view images uh, if you're going to a, a subreddit that has a lot of pictures, just click on that and start scrolling to your heart's content. If you uh, hide images, it hides them all. You can scroll down to the bottom and the, automatically the next page will start loading. I can scroll again, the next page starts loading, and scroll again, the next page starts loading. You get the idea. You can see the total number of upvotes and downvotes on any given post. You can also see that in, com in comments. We'll go to one real quick. You can also see it takes a little bit longer to for pages to load. The Red Enhancement Suite must have a, a rather large program and running in the background. Uh, you can see the total number of upvotes, total number of downvotes for that particular comment. And yeah, so then mine, I like to have it black like this. <clears throat> a little bit easier on, my, on your eyes in just my personal opinion. And yeah, that's a little bit about Reddit Enhancement Suite. Adds a lot of cool stuff. And a lot of you have asked how do I upload a Rage comic. You would go to this website called RageMaker.net. There's other ones out there too. I don't make Rage comics, so I've never had to do one. But it was pretty easy to figure out how to make one. You would you know put your stuff over here, wherever you want to save it to a disc. You could save it to your desktop like that. Or you could upload it directly to Imager. If you have your own Imager account, which I do, you could save it to your desktop and then you can click on computer and it browses to where you want to upload it here. As you can see, I was testing this out before I made the video. And then that is how you would up make and upload a Rage comic, a little bit about Imager. And then the last thing, real quick. A lot of you mentioned jailbait. I thought that was funny. Because if you were before to Google Reddit, just just Google Reddit, the default links that shows up right here, one of them was jailbait. And I remember back like a year or so ago that got removed and got changed. But yeah, so yeah, you guys got me to laugh a little bit when I saw those comments. Anyway, thanks for all the positive, constructive comments. I'll try to make some more videos now. I got this uh, better computer um, for work. I'm I'm in tech support. I do a lot of computer stuff. Um, if you guys ever have computer questions or want me to make videos on that kind of stuff too, I will be more than happy to make videos on little how-to videos here and there, tips and tricks. I used to do a lot of, as you can see, some other reports for or videos were with crystal reports. I don't do that anymore. I went took a step down and did uh, tech support again so my life is less stressful. If any of you 
uh, software developers out there, you can relate. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, and I look forward to reading some of your comments.